Hi everyone, I'm Talia. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time stopping by, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you like this video and you want to see more like it. And if you don't already, follow me on Instagram. That's where you'll get the newest and greatest news over at Brightly Imagined. I am super excited about July and also a little scared. I have a, so much that's going on um, in July this month, so um, I'm going to take you on a tour of my setup and show you what's going on. Okay, so we're starting here at my cover page. I don't always do a cover page, but I felt like it this time around. And I was kind of inspired. I was on Reddit and I saw um, someone post a bee um, theme and it had like honeycomb and stuff. And I really liked it, um, but I kind of wanted to do it without the honeycomb. It just seemed like a lot of work to me to make little honeycombs everywhere and I wanted it to be kind of simple to do. So I made these little bee doodles. They are incredibly simple. You're just drawing circle and some wings and little curls and then I um, made little flight paths with them because I've always wanted to do that. I see a lot of that with um, people do little paper airplanes and I always thought that was cute, but I thought, oh, I could just add those to my bees. And then I did a little bit of line drawing with the flowers and then wrote this July in kind of like a maybe sun. It's very subjective, whatever you want the circle to be, but I kind of think of it as like a sun in the background. And um, I wanted to keep it really, really simple because I just think it looks so classic when it's, you know, like two colors or something like that. So what I did was I just made it literally black and yellow. And that's what all of it is, is it's just this Tombow, uh, the 055 and my Sharpie pen. So the whole spread is going to be with these two pens. So let's get into the whole setup. You can see the two pen work there. Um, so I have my yellow striped washi tape. Um, I've used those before. I've had that for a while. Um, but then we go into my monthly spread. And as you'll see, I'll carry the whole yellow and B theme all the way through. So I put uh, July in 2018, and then I have my two Bs flying towards the center. And it's a standard bullet journal calendar. It's one through 31 on the side. And I decided to separate it into four categories. Usually I have like a master list on there and I only had three categories, but I really wanted to focus on these areas of my life for this month. So I have a personal section for me, a family section for anything going on with my husband or my kids, an exercise section, because I really want to get back on exercising and health really in general, and then um, work. And this is going to be for YouTube stuff and also for um, NaNoWriMo, because I'm doing a lot of writing this month, because that's what I do. I write and I bullet journal. <laughs> Okay, so the next section, we have my uh, master task list, and I got the two Bs right here, and I'm just gonna write down the things that I get done. Usually I just had one column on the um, calendar section, but I kinda wanted a bigger space for all my master task lists. So anytime I'm thinking, oh, I need to do that, I can just throw it right here. Um, and I'm gonna actually probably make some categories as I go, like errands and things that I need to look up when I'm on the computer, or um, things to buy, things I need to get to cleaning, kind of emergency stuff. Just anything like that. So that's my master list. And then I have my habit tracker for July. Okay, so again, it says habit tracker, July, and I got a couple bees flying around here. And then um, I'm just gonna list my habits that I'm going to be tracking. And uh, the only one I have written down is blueprint, and that just means kind of set up tomorrow's blueprint for a successful day or my task list. Um, again, here's just the dates across and then I highlighted the weekends um, just because you get extra bonus points if you're doing all the stuff you're supposed to do on the weekend because weekends are kind of like vacations and it throws off your schedule. So extra bonus points on those days. So now I'll know if I get an X in there, I'm doing really, really good. And the next section is my gratitude log. Um, I left myself two spaces because I've done the one line a day thing of like gratitude, but it seems like it's always just a little too short. So I decided that two spaces would be probably perfect for me. 
and I'm just going to keep track of what I'm grateful for because it really has a strong impact on your mood. You know, I'm not, I'm not always so new agey, but it actually really does make a difference to focus on the good stuff because I think a lot of times we're trying to improve. So we look at our faults to improve, or we look at what we don't have to try to achieve it. And I think if we look at what we do have a little more, it just improves your mood, you know, do a good for every bad and you'll be even in the end. And if you can do more good, you'll come out ahead. So, um, I kind of wrote this quote. I made it up myself. I just wanted to, uh, kind of capture what I was thinking about gratitude. So I wrote at any given moment, you can be grateful for what you have or sad for what you don't. And so it's kind of a thought that I had and I wanted to capture it and put it down there. It's kind of adapted from other things I was reading about gratitude at the time. And that was just kind of how I synthesized it for myself. So I wrote it there with a little B. And then my next page is my fabulous mood mandala. I love my mood mandalas. They make me so, so happy. And I'll show you kind of one that's growing for June. Cause it's been a while since I've shown one. So here's one with the colors and then I start doodling in it. And I actually do a lot more layers. It, it kind of grows very organically. So I haven't done these outer layers, but I also kind of did a lot more decorating on the inner layers. So I kind of do it as I go. Like I make it a little, um, not as tight. And then I go in and I decorate. So I'm, I'll probably go in here with my, you know, black pen and like darken some of this, like maybe the circles or sometimes I'll do like a line in the back, like darken everything behind it. So it just pops more. So it's, it's really organic how I, do my mandalas, but I love them. They're so pretty when they're all finished and they're just fun to do. They're fun to look at and it really uh, captures um, how the month is going because I like to see how I'm doing with different things in my life because if I'm making a focus for the month and I see that I'm not really happy throughout, then maybe that's not a direction I want to go. Maybe I want to pull back from what I'm focusing on and focus on some other things. So I kind of keep that in mind to keep growing, keep growing towards uh, positivity. All right, so let's go back to the other one, the blank one. Okay, so there's my blank one. I still drew a little B on it and made it yellow and then I'll just add in my colors and maybe a few more. And I thought about doing a quote here, but I haven't found a quote I like yet, so I might enter that later. And then my last spread is my expense tracker. I wanted a place to track um, my expenses because that was another big thing that I wanted to focus on this month. I feel like I'm <sighs> I'm spending too much time looking for the cheap fix, if you understand what I'm saying. You know, like I buy stuff to perk myself up or I, you know, eat something to perk myself up and all that's making you is chubbier and poorer. So I'm trying to focus on doing things that make me happy in the long term and see how that affects my overall mood throughout time because I've been reading um, Happier and I'll probably do a video on Happier in a bullet journal later on. But yes, so I'm trying to cut back on expenses, trying to track my moods, trying to improve my gratitude. And then as you can see in my calendar, I'm also working on exercise, getting the fitness and focusing on work. Um, it's not really work. It's, you know, YouTube channel and writing and that's stuff that, you know, it gives me purpose. And it's also a lot of fun. So that's what I'm trying to focus on. And also just, you know, personal life and family, taking care of myself, taking care of my family, because that brings me joy. And so, yeah, that's kind of what the theme for the month is. It's a lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot of doing stuff that I don't normally do. And I'm also doing National Novel Writing Month. So a lot is going on. And as a bonus, I have one more tracker to show you. And that's in my Silver Rhodia, which I made my NaNoWriMo bullet journal. So it's just all my brainstorming for my writing. And um, I think, I mean, I have some stuff already and there's some notes. Um, but the big thing is I also made a stats tracker for July. 
um, and I messed up pretty bad down here, but I kind of, I wired it out and fixed it. So here's how it looks. I have uh, my days, 1 through 31 on this side, and then um, I have 1 through 50K in um, increments, kind of like by day increments, like where you're supposed to be each day. It's not 100% accurate, but it's kind of in general where you're supposed to be in the thousands. And each day I'm going to grow it this way and hopefully I'll hit 50k by the end of the month and I also have just a word count for the day how much I wrote and how much above or below um, I am for my daily goal so that's my camp tracker all right guys so that is it I'll take it back through you back through one more time my uh, cover page and I just want to comment on this layout and how simple it was it's two colors technically one with a black pen and these doodles are so easy to draw and I thought you could do this with anything. You could do make these doodles ladybugs instead of bees and use red instead of yellow or if you're slightly better at doodling you can do something else whatever you can draw. If you can draw like a little duck I thought you could do kind of the same thing with little web feet tracks or a flamingo even and go pink have little pink flamingo tracks as it's walking around. So it's super versatile and um, that's why I wanted to share it with you guys. All right, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, just an update. Uh, the uh, giveaway for the two happy planners is definitely on and it will end on uh, June 30th and then I'll get in touch with the two winners. So. If you haven't already, head over there, comment, and subscribe. That's how you enter. And um, I will be shipping it to someone within the U.S. Okay, that's it for me today. I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.